Hey guys, this is Ryan with the Trickfish booth, NAM 2024. We're happy to be here and getting to see all of our friends again and be here at the show. Wanted to show you some of our new stuff for the, for the year. Uh, main thing is our new pedal line that's coming out. This is something we've been working on for the past year and a half and we've got great feedback from guys and excited to start getting it into your hands. Signal filter, simple high pass, low pass filter, switchable for both sides. Really great at taming the low end, the high end on your rig. Uh, using the uh, low pass as a instant access tone knob is pretty cool too. External preamps, three band EQ. We've got our IPA preamp based on the FlexCore Mike Pope preamp right here in a box. Add this to your favorite passive bass or as an additional sound for your active bass that you currently got. Overdrive preamp, this has been one of our favorite pedals here at the, at the show. It's a, a three band EQ added after a um, soft clipping overdrive. We've got a blend for the dry and dirty signal so you can dial in a sound to keep your low end present. Uh, use the treble in the high mid setting on here to de uh, determine the character of that overdrive. And of course, a master output. The last pedal that we've been working on, is the VCA compressor. So this is uh, based off a chip that's called the That Cork chip. And these are the guys that did all the DBX work um, for our, our, all of our favorite compressors. Those guys started their own company called That Cork. And they develop um, uh, chip engines to do different effects and things. And so this is based off their compressor circuit. It's a VCA compressor, it's very quick, very detailed, but totally uncolored. So it's not gonna change the character of the sound you're putting in it. We uh, dialed it down to the simplest EQ, uh, the simplest controls that we feel like you need in a live setting to quickly be able to dial in something that's usable and musical and let you get on with playing. Threshold, which acts as a sensitivity for the circuit. Ratio, which is gonna determine how um, extreme the compression is that, that you're using being able to adjust between the wet and the dry to put some of that dry attack back in it. And then of course a mass uh, overall level there. You've got a 10 segment LED meter showing you the, uh, the signal that's being sent to that VCA, which corresponds to the gain reduction that you're getting. So that's really cool. Full head 3K, again, has been something for the past year and a half we've worked on. We've got several players that we see on the road using two identical rigs, one for keys, one for electric. And we thought, man, it'd be great if we could put that into one package for somebody but also make the amplifier work and function in a situation where you just have one single instrument. So we've got the bullhead front end EQ on here, the high pass, low pass filters integrated into the amplifier with switches so you can engage or disengage those. You've got the same four band EQ with, with switchable center frequencies. And in its simplest setting, when you plug in, you're getting a bullhead amplifier running into two separate power sections. Those power sections are 1500 watts at eight ohms and 2500 watts at four. But what's interesting is that if you take a second channel, like say a keys rig, plug it into the back, it's got its own dedicated DI output, its own input, and the amplifier will automatically switch inside. It will switch that second input to its own power amp, which will have its own gain and master here on the front and allow the electric conti to continue through the first power module. And then you can send those two signals totally separate. You can put your keys through one cabinet, electric through a second cabinet, each getting their own DI, each getting their own gain and master so you can dial those in. If you have that same setup, but you only have one cabinet, you can just simply turn off the second power module. It'll sum everything together inside the amp, and now you're gonna get both those signals through one rig. Keys and electric is one way of doing it. There's a lot of other ways you can treat that second channel. It could be a clean and a dirty. It could be a, a vintage and a modern. As far as, the, you know, if you wanted to throw a nice tube preamp up top, run it through the back, you could have one cabinet running off of a tube preamp and one off of the bullhead EQ be able to mix those together. So there's lots of ways to do it, um, but we're excited. And if anything, having an amp with such clean headroom makes uh, playing at any level uh, satisfying and, and clear and punchy. Actually. The last thing we have is a quick sample we put together. Last year, we came out with our Bullhead Mini 500 and our Mini 112 cabinets. And it's become a, a favorite setup of a lot of our guys. It's a small setup, it sounds great. You've got a great Bullhead EQ coming out the DI in the back. So we made them together into the Mini 500 combo. So we've got a Mini 500 built into a Mini 112 cabinet. All the features of the amplifier, including the uh, line in and headphones out on the back. You got a DI output. The one difference on this one is we've got a switchable switch for the, uh, for the performance of the tweeter on the front. We've got full on, off, and, and middle, basically. And that allow guys, upright guys, who don't want to have any influence from the high-end tweeter, to totally defeat it and the driver will still run at full range for that. So um, great response on the new items. We can't wait to be getting things uh, built and completed and, and out to you guys' hands coming up soon. We look forward to seeing how you guys use it. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, reach out to us. We're easy to find.
can find us at trickfishamps.com or any of the socials. We'd be happy to answer any questions and uh, look forward to seeing you guys. Thanks a lot.